real neck. He's not it. Okay, hi everyone, I'm Laurel and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, I'm really happy that you found me. I post new fashion and lifestyle videos every single week. So if you enjoy this one, then I would love it if you hit that subscribe button and be part of the fam. But today I'm gonna be talking about fashion trends that I won't be participating or wearing or avoiding in 2022. Trends that aren't practical, one season wonders, they are too hyped or they're simply just not my style. I'm going to be mentioning a lot of the trends or upcoming trends that are expected to happen or expected to be trendy this coming year. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with topic number one. I have my phone here with me, like always, and you will see pictures on the screen to describe whatever I'm talking about. So the first thing I want to talk about are cat suits. So I mentioned this in my previous video while talking about fashion trends in 2022 and this unfortunately is going to be one of those trends that I will not be participating. I honestly, I, I love it. I love the look of it and I love how some people and how some of these girlies can pull it off. You look snatched, you know, and it's very, very figure hugging, very body hugging and I just personally don't think it is my style. I would simply prefer a more jumpsuit style or like a two-piece set rather than a full-on tight cat suit situation and also I don't really find it that much practical especially if you're out in public if you need to use the bathroom I don't think it's the best attire to wear out and about just because you'd have to be fully naked to use the bathroom so um, for that reason I don't think I will be wearing this specific trend. So the next trend that I want to talk about are ballet shoes and I've seen this kind of up and about. I've seen it mentioned a couple of times through different channels and through TikTok that ballet shoes or ballet flats are making a comeback and I personally just I know for sure I will not be wearing this specific flat style shoe just because it is a little bit too girly for me. It's on the girlier side. It's very very reminiscent of the early 2010s for me i used to wear these types of flats all the time back in middle school and that was just a traumatizing part of my life when it comes to my fashion sense so i don't want to resurface that i don't want to bring that back so for that reason i will not be participating in the ballet flats shoes but i think it is cute it's just not everybody's style and i know for sure i won't really like it that much okay this next trend is fringe so i'm kind of like on the fence with this trend because i do like fringe but not on clothing if that makes any sense like i like fringe on little booties i think it's cute that way i like fringe on accessories like bags but fringe this year i feel like it's gonna make a comeback in terms of longer skirts and longer dresses we're gonna see a lot of like that long style fringe and I honestly just don't think fringe in general is very practical for everyday wear just because if you really think about it if you've ever worn fringe before it gets caught on to so many things and it can be annoying it can be a hassle and it's you know it's good for events it's good for parties if you're just wearing it for like that specific night but if you are wearing it to the city and you're hopping around different taxis ubers or going to the subway and you're just running around it can get caught onto so many things and it just it just gets messy you know in everyday real life i think it's really nice on runways on models on like photo shoots i think it looks really really nice and i've seen some of the pieces on the runways with the fringe trend and I honestly think it's gorgeous it really is gorgeous but it's not really practical okay this next trend is it's the micro mini skirts I have been seeing this all throughout Pinterest all throughout the runways I forget which I think it's Miu Miu and Versace that have put out their own version of the extra extra mini skirt and let's be real okay if i were to wear something like that everything would show and i am not a skirt person when i do wear skirts i usually tend to go for a midi style skirt just because i don't really like to show my back end area and i feel like that mini skirt trend 
it's it only really fits a specific body type if you know what I mean it's not for everyone and you know what if you do have a different body type than the pictures that I am showing and you can pull it off then wear what you want you know wear whatever makes you feel good wear whatever makes you feel sexy I'm just speaking in terms of myself I know for sure that I will not be wearing this style because it shows a little bit too much and it also kind of stems from the whole low-rise trend that just seems to just not go away and I'm not a fan of the low-rise jeans or low-rise pants trend at all but now we're taking it into like a whole different level with the low-rise skirt the next trend that I want to talk about are bubble clogs the extra platform bubble clogs so clogs have made a comeback last year I've seen a couple different channels and you know different creators talking about the comeback of clogs and I personally clogs have never been my jam they have never really been my style but now I've seen the more platformed version because now we have platform everything platform is still a huge trend in 2022 I don't think that's gonna go away anytime soon but when I saw the platform form clogs bubble clogs you'll see the pictures I just don't like it I don't like it you know if you can pull it off then hats off to you because I just know it's not my style I don't think it's cute it is a little funky and I know that these past couple of years we've all just been kind of experimenting with our styles and just you know putting out more of our personality within our style which is great but I really I know for sure that I'm not gonna be wearing this shoe because it doesn't fit my style and it doesn't fit my personality um, and I'm just not a big fan of the look I think it just looks funny <laughs> um, if I'm being completely honest okay this next trend I feel like it's gonna be a little controversial because a lot of people are really into this specific style it is the school uniform preppy girl trend um i'm not really sure when this sort of became popular i'm gonna say mid 2020 but i just don't think i can really pull off this trend again it gives off like that slight girly girl style but then has that more conservative feel because it's a schoolgirl look so when i specifically talk about the school uniform i'm talking about v-neck knits i'm not a fan of that I'm talking about the tie trends that women have been wearing not really into that not really my style i know that a lot of girls can pull it off and i think it looks super super cool i just know that i can't pull it off also the pleated skirts like that's just it's just too girly for me i'm i'm more of a pants girl and i know myself so i know that i just can't pull off this style and this trend okay this next trend is the puff ball hems you'll see in the pictures but it is very um it's very unique i would say and i feel like it is really cute and again certain people and certain styles can really pull this off but it is the overly puffy sleeves the overly puffed up bottoms of skirts or puffy puffy dresses that is just not my jam again it is unique i think it's different but it's also just not really practical for me i mean can you imagine if i went around with a puffy voluminous hem style dress I mean, I feel like I would get in everybody's way. But I think, you know, if you have a party to go to and you are the star of the show, go for it. You know, because I feel like it is very just like attention grabbing. It is very different. So, yeah, not my style. Oh, my nose is running. Okay, so you guys, update. I'm positive for COVID right now. I've been stuck in my room for three days. I'm on day three of my quarantine and I'm slowly getting better. That's why I decided to put on makeup, put on some nice clothes and film. But there are moments I gotta catch myself because my nose starts running or my throat gets really dry. So bear with me. Okay, this next trend is the sporty faux athleisure trend. It's when basically other brands that aren't sports brands or aren't athleisure brands have their own version of crewnecks or sweat sets um i don't know i think this is cute honestly and like i would wear it but there's just something off about it that i just don't like i, I don't know what 
it is but i just don't like the fact that certain brands have like this faux retro sporty look to it and it'll have like a fake like health club logo on front of the crew neck i don't know there's just something about it that just gives me shein gives me boohoo you know what i mean like i just i can't pinpoint the reason why i don't like this style or like this trend okay this next trend is the grand macor trend which is like the less popular cousin of cottage core this kind of mimics the whole coziness gardening crocheting vintage feel warm hugs coffee and tea that whole kind of vibe and i personally just don't I just don't like this trend because it's not my style and I'll show some pictures of examples like vintage floral prints knit jumpers the quilted the crochet there's obviously certain areas of those topics that I mentioned that I do like like I do like vintage florals on certain things but I think it's just the silhouette of certain dresses when it comes to this trend that I just don't like and I know is not really my style and also I've never really been a fan of like the quilted look when it came to like sweaters or jackets I've just not really been a fan of that look and also the crochet I feel like it's cute to a certain extent okay and the last trend that that I will be talking about today is the rise of pearls and I like to call this the pearl core trend and this is coming back in 2022 I have already been seeing it a lot in the runways and certain brands have already been putting out their own versions of pearls everywhere but I specifically don't like pearls on dresses i don't like pearls on the collars or pearls on sweaters it just looks very i just feel like it's not comfortable and it's you know it's unique it's cute as like certain details like if i saw a nice cute top with pearl buttons like that small little detail is really really nice but i'm i've been seeing a lot of like pearl moment everywhere on sweaters and dresses and I just, I just feel like it's too much and imagine losing all those pearls you know imagine washing your clothes and all those pearls just fall off like I would be so stressed yeah and again it's just a little bit more on the girlier side for me so I just don't think it would fit me um but I could totally see it on my mom I feel like she would be so into this style she loves anything different so and I, and I appreciate that for her and I appreciate that for everyone in terms of whatever style you prefer and like personally for me I think pearls are just good as jewelry okay that's my opinion I think pearls are just fine as a necklace or a bracelet or even a cute little pearl ring or earrings I think that's as far as I could go but pearls on shoes collars sweater dresses skirts no no thank you all right guys that is pretty much all that i will be talking about for today's video the sun is completely going down so i have to wrap this up quick thank you again for watching today's video i hope you guys enjoyed some of the topics that i mentioned for the trends i will not be wearing or i will be avoiding this year i hope you guys stay safe um <laughs> it's crazy out there literally everyone that i know and their mother has so I hope you guys stay safe, stay healthy, put on your mask and take a test and hope that it is negative because you never know. I thought it was a cold and look at me. So stay safe, quarantine, and I will see you guys on my next video. Bye.